You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Sunshine and rainbows. Because that's what kids think the world is like. Only if it was, that would be awesome. But for everyone else, it's another day in paradise here at the headquarters of Drone U. And welcome to another fantastic episode of Ask Drone U. My name is Paul. And my name is Rob. I would love to see a rainbow because that would indicate that we had had some rain. Yeah, we've gone, what, 95 days without rain. A long time. Well, all you guys are dealing with snow up there in the northeast, and you're dealing with all these snow trucks and silly drivers and all these horrible things. We're just out here. It's a balmy 60 degrees, no rain. Just having fun. Actually, the sun's beating down on my face right now. It is actually beautiful here right now. <coughs> it really is actually no 60 wind. degrees right I now. I mean, it feels like spring. It's it's just too early, but we need moisture. Anyways, all that out of uh, rainbows and whatever did what did you say? Sorry, it's 59 degrees right now. Ooh, close enough. Wind, nine miles per hour. Humidity, 16%. I'm surprised we have that much humidity. I know, right? Huh. Maybe there's some rain coming. Anyways, um, interesting show today in the sense that we're talking about... Your mom. Surveying. (laughs) I just had to throw that in there. Surveying your mom? (laughs) No, that's even better though. (laughs) (laughs) That's just rude. Oh, man. Well, if your mom was hot, Rob, I mean, you never know. Oh, my word. Stacy's mom has got it going on. She's all, right. all I want and I waited for so long. So let's let's thank our friends, Paul. Yeah. You ever find yourself living the drone life? You're on a ranch. Maybe you're flying a bridge in the middle of nowhere doing some infrastructure inspection with your Phantom or your Unique. And you're like, hot diggity dog. I forgot to charge my batteries. Yeah, Well, thanks to our friends at Energen, you'll never have a hot diggity dog moment because you'll always be ready to charge up to four batteries without any power thanks to Energen's portable battery charging solution. And in fact, because they are so sweet and kind and full of wonderment, they have given you a discount code off of these battery chargers. Isn't that sweet? So if you go to their site, myenergen.com forward slash shop, use use discount code DRONEU and then the name of the product and you will save a significant amount of money. So for example, if you want the P40 charger, which is strictly for phantoms, then just use discount code DRONEU P40. If you're like me and you want to charge multiple 3S and 4S batteries, Get the A40 charger and use discount code DRONEUA40. But anyway, check them out, myenergen.com forward slash shop. Also, a very special thank you to our friends at the Drone U Elite. These are the new guys who are going to be offering Drone U trainings across the country. We kick off everything starting in March. We have our first Drone U Elite conference this February very excited about that. And yeah, so anyway, let's move on to the question, Rob. Hey, Paul. Hey, Rob. Kevin, New Jersey. I had a question similar to the one I submitted about getting the thermography certification. Uh, this is due with basically the surveying part of mapping and modeling. Uh, is it worth going out and taking the fundamentals of surveying exam and getting that certification? Does it get you better business? Um, are there more types of jobs you can do? And I guess the bottom line is, is do you make significantly more money if you're a surveyor versus just somebody that makes maps and models and can't sign off on the data? If you have any insight onto the facts regarding that, I'd love to hear about them. Thanks. Oh, hot topic. Not the store actual topic of discussion. Interesting question. Ken from New Jersey, who asks every other question, it seems like now. Um, <laughs> it's great. He has a lot man. of good questions. It's my man. He really wants free membership. Uh, what I will say here, I don't think it is worth it to go after that. I'm just going to say that before I say anything else. 
In fact, according to the U.S. Department of Labor, the number of surveyors is actually projected to decline by 2% between now and 2024 because of, and I quote, improved surveying technology. They say with quick deployment times and low maintenance costs, we can map pretty much anywhere, anytime. Drones allow us to use all kinds of payloads, such as near-infrared cameras, to map vegetation chlorophyll levels for agriculture. Not only do drones make things cheaper and faster for a surveyor, they also make jobs safer. We can now survey areas remotely that perhaps had some environmental risk to them, such as quarries, cliff edges, and polluted areas, etc. So is there a significant advantage to getting a surveyor's license? In my honest opinion, I would say no. Hmm. Now, it really depends on where you live and what the surveying board says is quote-unquote surveying because a lot of the people that I know that are using drone mapping are not actually using it for surveying purposes. They're not using it to draw sight lines. They're not using it to tell their neighbor that they got to move their fence over six feet. They're using it for permanent record of installation. They're using it to have volumetric measurements of stockpiles. They're using it for interactive mapping and marketing. They're using it to get index mapping of their farms to understand what areas need more water and what areas need less water. Right. So I'm not really seeing, you know, I know, I, in fact, I just, there was this post on Facebook and I actually mentioned it in a couple of shows ago about how this guy was saying that like, hey, you know, there's this thing going on where these drone schools are offering these, uh, you know, weekend classes to teach people here. This is what he said. Photogrammetry mapping surveying. These are all careers that take years of training and learning. I am by no means one of the above, but do get a kick out of seeing posts from a weekend course to teach you mapping with your P4P. If you really want to pursue these industry sectors, why is no one encouraging actually going back to school and learning it from the ground up? It seems it's all about the money that you see for a LiDAR job getting 6 k a day, not knowing it's going to cost you 130 k for hardware specs. By the way, 6 k a day, if you're getting just 6 k a day, uh, you are feeding on the bottom. Um, in fact, I know one person right now who's getting 35 k a day. And Rob, didn't I just show you that federal contract that we just bid on that was for $40 million dollars? for about a oh, year's worth of work of mapping. So what is 40 million divided by 365? A lot. It's yeah, so there are some really good opportunities out there. A little bit more than 6K there. a day, huh? It is a little yeah. bit more, yeah. Weird, huh? Anyway, I'm going to continue. Um, uh, la, 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 la. Uh, save your $1,500 weekend class on how to build a 3D model and enroll in a real college course or take a professional course with a GIS or photogrammetry software vendor that offers workflows for drone data. Yes, this is just a rant. I don't want the drone industry to end up screwing itself because a bunch of yahoos are trying to make a quick buck because they see GIS mapping related jobs paying more than wedding jobs or real estate picks. Now, this guy's really a bottom feeder here. Um, if you're going to do it, do it right and keep the professionals doing the professional jobs. Just my two cents. And then I said, and I quote, I was going to leave this alone, but I just can't. I own a drone school, used to train for an accredited university, bet you guys didn't know that, and trained for multiple associations. I left that job at the university associations because of the lack of detail that they actually provided to students. That's why I became an owner of DroneU. I know there are multiple schools offering mapping courses over the weekend. We do too. But I don't believe any of us are saying, join now for $14.99 and you'll learn everything you need to do to become a licensed surveyor. You'll be able to draw sight lines and even help industrial construction. What we're saying is, we'll teach you about drone mapping, the different acquisition strategies, we'll teach you processing, cleaning up point clouds, importance of GCPs, why some GCPs are better than others, but drone mapping is to surveying as Airbnb is to the hotel industry. Drone mapping is just another way to acquire data, acquire data not necessarily using it for sight lines. Besides, I can think of two dozen uses for drone mapping that have nothing to do with surveying, and one of my biggest contracts ever is using interactive maps and models for a resort community. It's not about building, it's about marketing. Besides, do you know that the Department of Labor Statistics actually thinks the number of surveyors will decrease? 
You know why? I already read you the quote, guys. The number of photogrammetrists is expected to rise, though, by 29,000 people between now and 2020. So before you go off and assume we're trying to teach people to become surveyors, ask first. And I got three upvotes. And then someone wrote awesome response that gave me two more upvotes. I was pretty happy about that. But this speaks to the question because if you're doing drone mapping, you're not really doing surveying. Now, there could be uses of drone mapping for surveying, but it's going to be a whole lot easier to just get someone to sign off on said survey than go spend all your money on getting this surveying sure. uh, certificate, which you just looked up, right? Yeah, and so it's a quite involved process. I guess what I would say to a question like this is, number one, there's several steps to becoming a licensed surveyor, right? And, and many states even require you to have a four-year degree, either in engineering or surveying or a combination of the two. So the way I look at this question is, what do you want to do? I mean, do you want to be a drone pilot and figure out how to enjoy your life that way, figure out how you can earn a living for you and your family and have a great time doing it because it's doing something that you love? probably don't need to go to school and do everything that you need to do to become a licensed surveyor. But if your interest is in the surveying world and doing the things that the surveying world does and then adding some drone elements to that, then yeah, it might be worth going to school and going down that road. But that would be because like if I wanted to build houses, I know that that's what I want to do. I don't want to just be the framer. I don't want to just lay tile. I want to make the whole thing happen. Then I'm going to have to go to school most likely to become a general contractor and be very, very good at that sort of the whole GB aspect. 98. Right, GB98. So for me, it just depends on what you want to do. I don't think there's a right or wrong answer. You just have to see, yeah, do I really want to go through that? The way I listen to the question Why is, does someone have to spend essentially the same time becoming a surveyor that you would spend if you were to become a doctor or a nurse or a nurse practitioner well, and or that, a doctor tech? And that's a completely different question. Um, right now, that's the way it is. There are other industries that you could say the same thing. That's the process. So you have to decide if you want to go through that or not. And then if you want to, I don't know, join the regulatory boards and change that, I suppose you could go that route. But that's well, the way it is. I mean, look how many regulatory boards tried to get rid of Airbnb. How well did that work? Well, in some cities, I think it's working. Uh, questionable. I, Because here's the thing. There are now systems online, and literally you can get loans to buy houses in areas of where people want a nice Airbnb, and they will like provide the system of management and the financing so you can borrow money to literally uh, build an Airbnb. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Yeah, no, it is crazy. It's a, I mean, just our economy is phenomenal. It's fun. There's so many really cool ways to, uh, to earn a living, and that's just another example of that. But, yeah. I think you answered the question best, is that you could go both ways with it. And I, I agree with you. I think there are a lot of uses that you don't need a surveyor's license for, and there are some that you would need a surveyor's license for. Yeah. But I think it'd be a lot faster to just go try to work with someone. Right, and I agree with what you said, that if your interest is not in surveying and, and being outdoors and, and doing the things that surveyors do, go do what drone pilots do and and enjoy that. And then when you need the help of a licensed surveyor, incorporate that into the cost of your deliverable and the job that you're doing. I mean, it's we collaborate with people all the time. I just think this is another example of figuring out a way to collaborate with the people who have what you need. Collaborate and listen. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, on that bombshell from Freshmaster Funk over here, um, I think that's going to do it for us today. <laughs> so, if, I think he just said I stink. No. Fresh Master Funk. funk. Like Funk. Never mind. Like Funk Master Flex. Okay. <laughs> just saying. Anyways. All right. Well, that's going to do it for us today, guys. If you have a question, go to AskDroney.com. If you'd like to leave us a review, please do so wherever you listen to podcasts. And if you want access, exclusive access to our 27 classes and our online community helps get your questions answered, keep you inspired and motivated and on top of the ever-changing industry, then just go to thedroneu.com, sign up, become a member, and see what is going on behind the curtain. That's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. I'm Rob. This is Ask Drone You. Ask Drone You.